Hi, I'm Steve Anthony. I'm a handyman here in New York City. The difference between TIG and MIG welding is essentially is the way that the, uh, the material is handled. They, they both involve gas and metal. Uh, MIG is uh, an acronym for metal inert gas, TIG for tungsten inert gas. In TIG welding, it's, the electrode is very specifically tungsten, hence the name tungsten inert gas. So you're using a tungsten electrode and the inert gas provides a shield so that oxygen is not introduced into the weld. The biggest difference in the actual composition of the weld between TIG and MIG, uh, the TIG, the, the tungsten electrode, while it creates the, the heat between the two materials that are being welded, the tungsten electrode does not melt into the weld. The uh, material itself is fused together and uh, the, the, the tungsten electrode is burned off. In MIG welding, the wire that's fed through the nozzle actually becomes part of the welded material. So uh, beginning welders find it a lot easier to work with MIG weld because it's just basically one gun you hold in your hand, you push the button and it, and it joins the two pieces of material. In uh, TIG welding, you have to have a, a torch with your gas and your electrode and a foot switch usually that, that creates the arc. It's much more artistic when it's finished. It's a, it's a much more attractive weld, but it requires a lot more skill as a welder to execute a good TIG weld. Uh, it's certainly something that if you are a welder, uh, you'd want to try to strive for and, and become proficient at. But for the average homeowner, if you're doing a metal working project around the house, you're building a bracket or something, you'd probably want to stick with MIG welding. And you can even rent a, a MIG welder for just the day and practice on and develop your proficiency.